Hello, hello, Danger Noodles. I am here with no one. I mean, I could just leave. No, no, stay. I come to your stupid solo stream, and this is the respect I get. Yes. <laughs> You're just my imaginary friend. Damn. So how does it feel to not even be real? Not much has changed. <laughs> I'm constantly fighting with the urge to fall down complete solipsism. I forgot about you. I forgot about your precious baby boy here. You forgot about the pooch? I also forgot some of the controls. <laughs> should probably look at the controls. That's a good idea. Keyboard mouse. Move, interrupt, run, and hold. Toggle crouch. C. That's the commands. Okay. Someone's there. Well, I didn't mean to do that. I don't know what I did. Ah, oh, such a precious boy. Come here. Yeah, good dog. We must pet the doggo. One command I'll never use. Well, it's because I'm not looking at him. Which is reprimand. Why would I want to reprimand him? I mean, if he does something that is harmful, you kind of <laughs> need to. True. Just don't know if he's gonna do that. It's old. True. Not abandoned. Someone lives here. This again. Raphael. I also realized um, something that I'm going to start looking on YouTube because uh, I really like the Mandela stuff and analog horror and all that. I didn't yeah. realize there was like some other stuff than the most popular ones. Like there was this bunny angel cartoon that hmm. actually, I'm not going to spoil it, but it, it ended up in a happy note at the least. Uh wasn't really much of horror, but it was still well done. Are you and, meaning like some ARG stuff you're getting into? Yeah. It's like uh. the, the cartoon was able to speak with the person and everything. Hmm. This is rather interesting. Locked. I have a notable fondness for looking into old ARGs. I, I do have to say, like, Mandela is by far one of the creepiest things I've seen with the... I still, uh, I still need to look into it. Yeah, it is rather creepy. I mean, you saw me play the Mandela games, though. Did I? Yeah, you were there for two of them. I do not remember. It was the games where we had to choose between what was normal and what wasn't. Oh, yeah, those. Then, yeah. yeah. Yeah, those were Mandela games. Oh, so those were, like, based off of the YouTube series? Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah. That's actually really cool. Oh. He's being chased. <laughs> oh, 
supposed to talk about you. Now the door should be open. Uh oh. Dog was in trouble. I. <laughs> Excuse me? That's normal. <laughs> How did you get up there? <laughs> My dog is Jesus. No, your dog was the Blair Witch the whole time. Bullet! I think Bullet is glitch. I think there's supposed to be, like, a dangerous creature somewhere here. And you got. It was staying right here, and you got yoinked up and glitched. <laughs> yep, the door's open now. Oh, it is the strongest entity in the game. Won't budge. Ah, uh, now you gotta watch the camera. Probably. No, it is a very sharp contrast hearing the spooky sounds from your game while I'm playing fucking Minecraft and hearing Minecraft music. <laughs> I saw it. Not a witch or a monster, but a man. A man carrying the pelt of a skinned human. He saw me and now he's coming. Arbor. He's coming. Pinky. Oh, am I going to have to either deal with a skinny boy or a windy boy? Oh, that's one way you can mess with dead bodies. What even is that? I think it's supposed to be a pentagram. In what way is that a pentagram? I don't know. <laughs> three, three, two, four. Oh, there's something else in here. Yeah. I. Oh my god. That says bluebies, but I thought it said boobies at first. <laughs> Just on the back of me. Yeah. This game's got its priorities straight. Let me see, you still stuck up there? Yeah, yeah, you are. Wait, I wonder if I can get stuck by petting him. Oh, the game won't... I can't pet him. The game won't let me. Stay here, boy. Up there he goes. Now he's back to normal, sort of, just in the air. <laughs> Quote unquote normal. Oh, wait. Oh my god. <laughs> he's just running away. <laughs> How did I get this to happen? What did you give your dog? I don't know. Did your dog eat Tinkerbell? I'm gonna see what happens if we go all the way over here and hit come. And hit come. He's going it's farther great. away. Crazy and now great. he's gone. Raising. He's gone. He went up into the trees and disappeared. Damn. What? I heard him. Oh, he's over there by that tree. How did he get over there? <laughs> did you get out of bounds? I think that's what happened. I think he got out of bounds. Hmm. 
Which is bad because my character will start freaking out if I'm too far away from the dog. Yeah. Huh? Oh, medical ward. Oh shit. Jesus. Hey. Hey. Can you some of those are defense wounds? Multiple cuts. Badly mutilated. The blood's still fresh. Let me just. Oh. <gasps> what? What? How? Flashback Jesus time. Christ, what the fuck just happened? I didn't even have a chance. The sun went right into the collarbone. Oh, I was in a flashback. Drop the knife or I'll shoot you. I think it was mostly dead before he was put in the saw. Being stabbed multiple times. Oh, that starts moving now. That's not creepy. I can't tell of this. <coughs> also, miss this with reality or. Wait, no, it was a blue tape. Only the red tape's missed with reality. Yeah. Sorry about that. Thank you. Now, let's see, you still stuck up there. Wait, where the fuck you go? I have a vision for a very, very cool house in a cave in this Minecraft world. But to make it come to fruition, I have to mine out an entire fucking column of dripstone. Well, clear room for it. the murderer is with my dog. That's not good. Oh, I don't like this. <laughs> this, this sounds in no way. I'm bent to the ground. Uh, I don't like this. I'm doggo. Bullet bite is nuts. Dragged. I can't tell if I got a game over or not. When a game over have like made it clear by now? Probably. Oh. What are you doing here, Private? It was me, sir. 
What was? Elijah Five. I was the point man, sir. What are you trying to say, soldier? I led those men into the ambush, sir. Six grieving widows, nine orphan children, one negligent soldier. He should have been court-martialed. I couldn't stay. Not after that. It wasn't your fault, Ellis. Yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery, so but today oh, you're so is a weak. gift. That's I why like you it's once. called the present. See this knife? Show me I remember the holding it against light. my wrist. I'll Pressing show you the herald of darkness. Deeper, wanting to end it all, to silence the voices. Diving deep to Weak. the surface. Pathetic. I should have listened from the start. That's oh, I was getting so confused, book where I was wondering what the hell was I hearing. <laughs> oh, book did a sound. Yeah, Master Oogway. And Kung Fu Panda. I was so confused. <laughs> I was like, why am I hearing Master Oogway? He's gone. He's I didn't even hear what Master Oogway he said. Left? He said, Ooh, I'm a turtle. Hey there, sleepyhead. Then what do you want? Master Urgway is the real Blair Witch. There for you. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, shit, God damn it. It's all rotten. But how? It would have taken years for it to get this bad. Where's my camera? That son of a bitch. Oh, he cracked it. Hawk. This guy makes me think of Jacob Seed from uh, Far Cry 5. Uh, this again. Alright, so now I need to find out how to get my inventory up. There it is. Is this the one? No. Are we all the way at the bottom? No. Ah, here it is. Patient in for a monthly appointment in relation to his anxiety neurosis seems kept in check. Again, no discussion of the of the woods or his friend dissociative amnesia worsening i admit this patient is beginning to concern me everyone seems to have moved on but the fact that he does not talk about the woods at all is almost eerie he has become interested in hiking hunting but was offered a scholarship out of 
out of state, but does not want to leave town. Something is keeping him here. That's not creepy. But anyways, we gotta do one thing. Pet the doggo. Wait, I couldn't pet the doggo. It won't let me pet the doggo. You're a failure now. Oh my gosh, the yeah, doggo's dog. glitch. I can't touch the doggo. No! Each one is more twisted than the last. Oh, wait a minute. I think those are markings. There's a bunch of you know, white markings there, and there. I'm guessing that's what I'm, where I'm supposed to go. Look, were you here for it earlier when my dog learned how to fly? Bullet, seek. In there, huh? All right, so there's nothing else here. I don't even think. I don't think so. Yeah, at one point the game glitched and and bullet was just suspended in midair. Oh, I want to save mainly just to see what chapter I'm at. Well, as he should be, he is a deity. <laughs> oh my gosh, now we're making Bullet into a god now on the server. <laughs> the cult of the Bullet. Why do you think all dogs go to heaven? And where do cats go? Heaven. Yeah, it's actually kind of one thing I believe. I think, I think pretty much all animals would go to heaven, because they can't always tell right from wrong like we can. I mean, yeah. Yeah, they have no use for human morality. <laughs> Where, where's Bullet? Okay, there you are. I want to try this again. Pet. Yes! We can touch the doggo! Aren't you a handsome boy? Oh, that's a good doggo. Oh my gosh, the belly rubs too. I have no idea if I'm going in the right direction. Do you know how insufferable it is to try to shave down an entire dripstone column while still making it look natural? Oh, what the fuck? I went to go farther away and I'm back here. Uh. Hmm. That's not creepy at all. Let's try this path. Hi. You just be in front of me, you little shit. Let's go fresh. Oh, that's what I was supposed to do. Festus. Okay, Festus is here to help me shave off this column. <laughs> you better be of help. Seek. Oh. 
Who's go, my bully, big go. lad? Go, bully, go. Nothing, eh? Who's my favorite boy? I have no idea if I was supposed to solve a puzzle or not. I'm just going in random directions. Totally not going to get lost and murdered. I mean, it seems like the uh, mad murder man has, like, some reason for you to be alive right now, so... Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't get transported back. I want to see this. I also have no clue as to where the fuck I'm going. <laughs> then again, I think that's my entire player through the game. I just got lucky as to where I'm supposed to go. That's kind of just how you exist in general in video games. Hey. Am I wrong? Yes. How so? Because fuck you. That's not much of a response. Okay, I may for a fact be stuck in an infinite loop. The number of times you basically just fucking fall down a set of stairs into success is astounding. Okay, so I went that way last time. Then I went this way, and this way was wrong too. So let's just try this way. Oh wait, no, this is where I went. Never mind. <laughs> oh, and now Festus leaves me. This is also a wrong path, and I have no idea where to fuck go. Gods, I wish I had scaffolding right now. About. I found their correct area. <laughs> keep your eyes on the camera. You'll see soon enough. And keep the mud close, or it'll wake him up. What? Is Bullet the Bear Blair Witch all along? Oh. My God. to walk towards that? <gasps> Wait. <laughs> That's not good. <sighs> oh 
Oh, bus. Uh, I mean, not bus. Uh, bullets picked up something. Let's stick together, bullet. Buster. I don't want to lose you in this fog. So it looks like I just have to head north. Oh, I can see it in my hand. Oh my gosh, I'm so mad. Uh. Oh god, where are you? Oh, I grabbed the phone. I know you, do you really want to mess with me, Ellis? Don't you remember what? Leave him alone, you son of a bitch! I've hit. I actually pulled up my phone instead of the fucking. Oh my god! That's not creepy at all. <sighs> okay, flashlight was a bad idea. Flashlight, do not take out flashlight. Got it. Flashlight is instant death. Why would your first instinct upon seeing that be, oh, let me just take my flashlight? Oh, wait, that's right. Normally you beat the yeah. enemies with the flashlight. Yeah. Okay, never mind. That that was that was me being dumb. My bad. Did he say that before now? I don't know. I missed one of them, so. Okay, so when we start to see the red guys, we gotta turn back a bit. And then. <gasps> okay! I did not see you there. How do I get around them? Hey, Jerry. Hi, Jerry. Just gotta get over there. I'm shaving down an entire column in Minecraft. I'm being murdered. I think I'm going through the more significant pain right now. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wait, did I just hear myself? Ooh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, you... oh, no, uh, I no. didn't have bright muted on, on Twitch. Fuck, how do we get around Wait. them? What was that, Jerry? One more step and I'll I didn't have bright, uh, uh, muted on Twitch. Oh, gotcha. Too close. <laughs> Damn it. Right there. You got a death wish, Ellis. Fuck, how do we get around these fuckers? They're like completely surrounding the goddamn Sim Wars. Ah, goddamn. Oh, I didn't see him. Well, this is rather hard. Because I don't know where I'm supposed to go or how am I supposed to get past them. You really don't want to make me angry, Ellis. You really don't want to make me angry. Careful now, Ellis. Your little flashlight won't help you here. Oh, but don't 
What did I do? Uh, I got captured by a piece of shit, and now I'm here. What? There. Ooh, okay. Luckily, my dog does growl. Oh! What the hell? Well, that would have been nice to know. He said multiple times, look for the sign. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Come here, boy. Get over here. Oh, he's right there. That's why he was parked. Okay, buddy. It's okay. We're gone. Oh, God. Oh, oh, God damn it, bullet. He ran over to it. That's what happened. That's what got me killed. God damn it, bullet. <laughs> Remember, you cannot scold your dog. That leads to bad ending. Does it only lead to bad endings? I, I don't think so, but you're still green out to that way. It's like, I feel like if your doggo's doing things that put you in danger, you, you have good reason to scold the doggo. I agree, but I didn't go die in this game. Yeah. Stay with me. Okay. You gotta stay with me. Stay close, bullet. He's taken. Stay here, boy. You basically have to keep your dog from killing you. Yep. Right Stay close, bud. I can't tell if we're almost there or not. I'm going to where you're telling me to go, you motherfucker. Oh god, oh god, where is he, where is he, where is he? Oh, you're right there! Come here, boy. Stay close. Heal. Not do what I think you're doing. Luckily, I do get multiple warnings if I get too close. You just have to pay attention to him. A sound warning. Stop it. No. Stop it. No. Stay close. I wish there was more use for Driftstone in Minecraft. Come here, boy. Heal. On this way, we were actually going to go earlier. Um. Stay, stay close. close. Go this way to avoid it. Come 
Come here. Now stop. Turn left, Ellis. Yes. Now walk forward. Turn right, Ellis. What's the problem, Ellis? Just go. Slightly to the left. Almost there. Slightly to the left. You want to make me angry? You're doing good, Ellis. Yeah, just like that. Just a little more. What the fuck is John like that? that? Yeah. I think that's what's on. You sadistic fucking coward! I think I see something in that fog, and I'm guessing that's where I'm supposed to go. I think Listen, so uh, Listen, Ellis, I, I know you're angry, very rightfully so. Uh. But uh, it's not a good idea to start yelling at the man while you're surrounded by entities. Stay close, bullet. I don't see any around me. So I don't know where he's freaking out at. Maybe bullet's still scared of that one that you passed. Oh, there it is. There's the tree. Nice. Oh my fucking god. I hate those fucking Almost there, Ellis. Faster. All you need is a few twigs. What do I need to do? You need twigs. I I get it, but how am I supposed to get twigs? I, I guess the ground. Oh. Can't believe I'm doing this. How do I get twigs? Well, step one, find branch. <sighs> one. Oh. What the? Hey, Psycho, what the hell is this? This thing bleeds. Don't be silly, for you don't bleed. Dad, we can do that. Oh. Do you see it? What? The trail, do you see it? I, uh, I think so. Follow it. Pretty sure that tree is bleeding. A trail? I don't see a trail. What the fuck are you talking about a trail? I don't see a trail anywhere. Trail bright. Oh, there it is. Yeah, but then it gets cut off over here. Become the trail bright. I am so confused. Well, if that way isn't the way to the trail, look at the other way on the trail. And it gets covered up by black shit. And my camera is no longer helping me anymore. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. Heal. <laughs> You are. Get over here. Heal. Now I gotta find that fucking tree again. There we go. I really do not like that repetitive sound. I 
I don't like this wonky trail. I... Excuse you. I saw you move in the fucking fog. Oh. There's someone in the fog. Oh! <coughs> yep, I'm just gonna ignore that and just keep going. Jesus fucking Christ! The fuck? It... Did it miss? Oh my god. A uh, problem with that. Come on. Bit of a problem with that, but. Stay close, boys. One more step and they'll see you. It's fine going far away from them. I knew they wouldn't make it this fucking easy. Heal. Stay close. Stay close to me, boy. Neither of us wants to die. What do you mean? I don't see any of them. Oh, dear God. Watch out for the Slender Man, right? I think Slender Man's white, not red. Well, we don't know what well, they like, look like. Stay close, bud. Well, you can Slender actually Man's see them. Angry cousin. Like, you can actually see them when you're close enough to them, and they kind of look like Slender Man. Oh, they have the white Slender face. Man it is. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Oh, you're right there. You're right there. We're going away from you, so fuck off. Okay, that's new. There's a sign. I can't read it. Trogo. Oh, there it is. Where is it? Where is it? Where's the bullet? Oh, he's right over there. I excuse you. Heal. Stay close. I know you want to rip their faces off, but we can't do that. You would die. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, you're right there. Perhaps the Slender Man monsters. One weakness is Busta Claws. And teeth. Mm -hmm. Why did I say Busta? Bullet. Yeah. Yeah, Bullet. Bullet's very different than Busta. Actually, I want to guess that Busta could easily beat up Bullet. We're not dogfighting here. <laughs> No well, dog, yeah, I but hypothetically. They're both good boys, and that's what matters. I mean, they are both good boys. Tracks but I'm just saying boy? that I think... I'm just saying that I think Busta would be the better ass of the two. Oh, the trail ended. Yeah. Oh, I think oh. I know where I need to go. I still really hate that fucking sound. What, from the that game that I'm playing? Game? Yeah. Which one? The, re the repetitive <laughs> Come here. I will admit, that is a very agitating sound. 
What if it's trying to agitate you, like on purpose? Well, well I mean, it, that's kind of obvious. It, it's a horror game. It's trying to unsettle and agitate the senses. There's I thought you could just excuse them agitating. Okay, wait a minute. Now I'm more confused as to where I'm supposed to go. I know I saw a fire up here. Yes, yes, you did. But there's nowhere around here for me to climb up. Oh. oh, it saved. Up, oh, I found it. Oh. Oh. Oh, don't. All right. Found the stag. It's <coughs> dead. You don't say. That's probably because I killed it. Now take its skin. What? The skin. Peel it off. Take it. Yeah. yeah. Does Ellis know how to skin an animal? What now? What? It's a symbol. I want you to make one. You have the twigs. You have the skin. All that is left is to use them. So hurry up. Uh, fine. Have it your way. Fucking nutcase. Bro. Oh. I had to make one of these that scared bullet. Satisfied? Not quite. There is one more thing. Now this one's easy. You've done it before. But first, let the mutt sniff the symbol. He'll take you right where you need to go. How? The only scent he'll get is my own. Bullet! Bullet, buddy. Wait. You're not afraid of it? Did you really think slapping some twigs together would be enough? It's not ready yet. Ah, I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, we gotta go murder some people. Don't say that. Murder is fun. No, 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 you're not the killer. You don't yet. get to say that. My favorite flavor is dead. No, it's not. I don't know what your favorite flavor is, but it's not dead. For all I know, it's a type of casserole or a fish or... Go on, boy. Somewhere earlier. Check it out. Stuff is so good. What is? The casserole I was having earlier. Oh. What? It's like basically just green. Bullet. Are you hurt, bullet? Bullet, bullet. I think bullet needs pets. Here. Oh, come here. Come here, bullet. It's basically just green beans, French's, uh, baked onions, and uh, cheese. It's all right, buddy. It's all right. I'm sorry I need to do that. Can you pet him or something? I mean, not pet, but like, praise him, call him good boy. Right, I'm pretty much dead when petting him. Oh. Okay. How does it feel to rely on someone who killed your friend? Now you despise more. Keep talking. Before this is over, I'll make you pay for what you did. I used to hate myself. I despised how weak I was. One tried to fight it. I kicked, scratched, and fit, but that is all useless. Don't move. What? Again? Just stand still, Ellis. I can't call... I can't call... Bullet. Crouch. Ah. 
That's weird. That's actually not true. Yeah, it depends on the bird. Some birds are immune to barbed wire. I was actually going to say that's not how barbed wire works. If you just give up and lean in the barbed wire, it'll get worse. The best to do, thing to do is to remain calm, rip what it off whatever clothes is stuck on it, and slowly remove it. If you're like super tangled in it, I mean. Barbed wire is painful, but giving up won't help you get out of it, but struggling won't either. Promptly no removing it will. Not one bit. So what is it? Another body? Oh, wouldn't you like to know? It looks like in the shape of a gun. Oh. Yep. I don't... I, 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 I don't understand. They're almost there. Almost free. Just one more step. That's all it takes. Am I gonna end up shooting a kid? Kill myself? I gave you what you wanted all these years. No. No, I killed the dog. Very what? No. No, 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 no. No, I will not kill Bullet. But this, this is where you draw the line, a fucking dog. I should have drawn one long ago. I'm not doing this anymore. Oh, you brought this on yourself, on the boy. Stop hiding behind a child, you coward! <laughs> God damn it! For me to kill Bullet, the fucking bastard. I think we all agree what with this man's rage. Oh, what? what? That's... Are you hallucinating? That's impossible. Probably. Bullet, no! Bullet! Bullet? Bullet, where are you? Don't fucking lay a finger on my fucking dog. Hey, bullet! Wait up! Bullet! Hold on, boy, I'm coming! Huh? Oh god, no, please! Don't move, buddy. Don't move. Shh, 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 shh. That's gonna be fine. L let me just die. Uh... Boy, you're heavy. I got you. Scraps from the table. Gonna have to take longer walks, buddy. Or on the <coughs> block. I'm not kidding. Good boy. It's okay. It's just, it's gonna be okay. Ain't nobody hurting my dog. He super hurt your dog. Well, something super hurt the dog. Yeah, it's about to get its butt stabbed. I'm pretty sure it was the killer with the kid that hurt your dog. Oh yeah, but is he anywhere near here? Probably not. God damn it. I mean, there is a bunch of monsters in the forest. Yeah, like... <laughs> it's okay, Paul. It's okay. But yeah, this killer really reminds me of Jacob C. Be right, buddy. Yeah. This was a spell something? I have no idea. Mm -hmm. If it is, I don't know how to read it. I also it was a bunch of squiggles. Wait, go look at it again? This stuff? 
Oh, I know what that says. What does What's it say? It say? Let's see. Right as a bird. Oh, fuck off. Right. Oh, oh, I know why? that one. Why? No, that one says, how gay is Jerry? Hey. Okay, boys. Got one. We'll get out of this forest together. We've been here before. Oh, is it? It. Oh, no. What? Dogs. Yeah, that's appearing lie. there. Oh. Dogs lie? It's way of saying they're lying down. They, they're dead. Not very good suggestions right now. I am... Not this again. This one... The one slightly sad thing about me spending more time with Tangia. I don't play the how gay is cheery sound alert. Oh, for Pete's sake. That's what books said. L I know. L F L I or well, I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Or is that supposed to be lie again, but they didn't get finished. Uh, I, I think they're trying to suggest you kill your dog again. No, I'm not doing it. Fuck you. I know. You and your character are both against dog death. <laughs> You love your dog. Your dog is your sanity line. Your anchor. Your everything. I'd rather murder everyone who's had a, a highly populated building before killing my dog. I, I feel like a lot of people feel that way. Oh. Let. Oh. Let dogs lie. Oh, no. No, no. Uh, I think... Fuck you. Dog I think that was saying, let sleeping dogs lie. Ah, uh, let sleeping dogs lie. This dog is not sleeping, they are not dead. If you kill your dog, lose your sanity line, you can kill a building of people. I'm not doing that book. I am saving my dog. <laughs> This is hopeless. <coughs> now, we will keep pursuing. Why does we go backwards? Oh, wait. I can't go backwards. I'll try going forward one more time. Why are we here? Just oh, wait. Upper. No, it's just a rock. I thought it was something different. Why is I not finding more iron in this cave I'm living in? Easy. I'm here. I'm with you. Oh wait. No. Let dying dogs lie. That's dying. Oh, no. oh I see with every loop around. The words become clearer to read. Shoo, 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 shoo. No, it's okay, buddy. No one's leaving anyone. We came here together. We're walking out together. I will again say, it is a very bizarre contrast, hearing the, the the whining of a hurt dog in your game, while listening to the chill-ass soundtrack of Minecraft. Oh god. Stop suggesting the dog dies, Wall. We do not appreciate. What? I don't think Hatchet was suggesting that. Oh, no, wait. I said oh. wall. Hatchet's oh. not a wall. Does Hatchet look like a wall to you? 
I have never heard someone say something like that. You're the one who suggested it. I'm like, stop saying the dog dies, Wall. You're like, don't say that, Bill Now, to be fair, in my brief stint attempting to play football, I was the center. My job was literally to be a wall. So Hatchet is a wall. Right! <laughs> I played one game and I hated everything about it. See, Hatchet is not a wall. They don't like being a wall. I can barely see in front of me. I got this bullet. I will protect bullets. <laughs> Game. I can tell I'm walking slower. Honestly, if the oh. game forces you to kill your dog, I think you have to leave the game unfinished. Time to start my murder spree. You won't break me, you hear me? I won't lose to you! Whatever you are. I can't. Wait, there we go. I'm about to say, did you just manage to soft lock yourself? I will save my dog. My very last breath. I honestly have no don't idea what I'm close. We don't know what he'll do. I'm gonna admit it now, if they kill the fucking dog, I'm gonna stop watching this. I feel like that's where it's going. I feel like that too. But I don't agree with it. If that makes I, sense. I mean, it's a horror game. I, I don't know where to go. We've seen a lot worse happen in this game alone than a dog getting killed. Oh. I did it. For some I found reason, out. I feel like the worst thing to do would be the dog. Sheriff. God damn it, Ellis. I've been trying to reach you for hours. Anyway, I just wanted to say that we're dropping the search. It's nothing personal. But hey, you left him there to die. It's only fair you die alone out there as well. Goodbye, Ellis. What? what? Wait, what's, what's going on? I don't know. Just calm down. You let everyone down. 
don't tell me this is supposed to be bullet. I can't see in front of me. Okay, there we go. Fuck you. Look up. What? What? No. No. No, I, I can't take it anymore. Make it stop. <coughs> damn it, pieces. Work, damn it. That looks like Bullet might actually still be alive. Jess? I was it. Jess? Fuck. I'm kind of hoping that this is just a hallucination and the bullet's fine. Struggling, huh? What did you what did you do with the kid? The kid. That's what you're worried about. Stupid little man, I could have slit your throat and wear your skin. Then why don't you? <laughs> You'll have to work for that. You see what you've done? Try as you might, you can only do harm. No. You did this. <coughs> All I did was give you a choice. You chose the dog, and now it's dead. I failed you. I failed you all. <laughs> now you have nothing. Now you are ready. Come. It's time. No! Jess, I'm so sorry. For everything. If only I could... If only! If only I hadn't married you! If only I'd listened! Jess, please. I, I know I messed up. You killed them, Ellis! What? You're a murderer and a coward. No. I'm leaving, Alice. You know what you need to do? Be a man for once. He's hallucinating. These are things that that was something that never happened. Mm -hmm. 
he's hallucinating because he feels guilty. He feels like by failing his image, by failing people and the animal he cares about, that it's his fault, that it might as well have been him that killed them. No, he didn't. Why? I did everything you wanted me to! What the hell am I supposed to do now? Technically, you what refused I... to kill your dog. How can I... Please, let it be something useful. I also have a feeling that uh, if Bullet is dead at this point, uh, it might be one of the things that the game said could be changed based upon how you treat Bullet. Because think about it for a second, multiple times during the game, Bullet runs off, and you don't scold him for that, no going back, and then there never was. that last time he runs off and gets gravely injured. Let's get this over mm. with. I feel like if you scold him and treat him badly, you'd be more likely to kill Bullet. Well, yeah, but again, like, it's kind of an important element of taking care of an animal to try to get them to avoid doing things that are harmful. Yeah. Which comes the use of scolding. Well, I'm not the one who designed the game's engine. Tell them that. Yeah, whatever. Well, yeah, that's why I'm... That's, that's why I'm, like, speculating that that might be an alternative outcome. If Bullet is dead, honestly, I'm still not sure. Right. Locked. There's gotta be a key somewhere. I'm hoping that Bullet is with the kid and Bullet's just beating the shit out of the murderer. I think the killer killed the Bullet. He knocked you out and killed your dog because you refused to kill your dog. Just why I need to kill the murderer. Then again, he didn't actually show you the body, did he? He showed you a pile of rocks in the hollow. Mm-hmm. He doesn't exactly look like the most honest person. So, uh, I need to go for a bit, but okay. I will be back in a bit. Alright. Good Let's... luck. Oh, we're in the last chapter. Oh, nice. I, I think. I'll say I don't think Bullet's alive, but I'm not as bothered as I would have been about it if they, ha if they the game had forced you to do it. Because it wasn't you forced to do it, I don't feel as bad about it. If that makes sense? Mm -hmm. I feel angry. But I don't feel like totally leaving the chat. What I the... just hate the killer, but he is mean, someone who kidnapped a child and a killer, so... I don't think you're supposed to like him. Jesus. That one was different. The light just made it angry. Not go there. Come on, work. Uh, 
Oh. There it is. I need a key. Oh, wait a minute. Oh! I ain't here. It's totally normal. And now, that door should be open. Yeah. Oh, okay. Peter. What the ah! What the fuck? Like you are seeing the ghost of the room. Mm -hmm. Hey there, you must be Ellis. I'm not sure of landing, but you can call me in it. This is a new start for you, Ellis. It gives you power, it gives you a chance to hold life in your palm. You touch the twigs and you run your fingers through their bones. You press them down, you break their spines. She watches you. Once you pick them up, she won't let you put them down. And her whispers become sweeter every time you clench your fist. I don't like the sound of that. That sounds like making one of those things. The more angry you get, the more power the witch has around you. You're hallucinating while looking for the child, which makes sense. Probably very stressful not having bullet and looking for the kid. Mm -hmm. Your character already had severe PTSD issues even with bullet around. It's just too much. I can't take it anymore. I won't let you drag me down with you. That's great. A wallet. Charming mood today. Uh, the light. Anyone hear me? The 
Turn on the lights. What? The headlights. Turn them on. That was me saying that. Oh! How do you imagine your future? Are you a good man, Ellis? Well, I'm about to be a bad man because I'm going to murder both of you. The woman and the man. There's no other way. I'll have to sneak past it. Somehow. Lines. Follow the path. Don't look, light awakens them. That's blood. Got a robbery in progress, a convenience store near Burkittsville Road. These kids again? Yeah, probably. That was a person. So, I apparently shot a kid. Well, accidents can happen when you're a police officer. Obviously, it still haunts you. Shit. Ace file. Off the record, Ellis. What's up? 
what the hell happened. <coughs> a local teenager allegedly involved in a convenience store robbery was shot by a police officer arriving at the scene. The suspect was transported to a nearby hospital in critical condition. Local authorities confirm that the suspect was unarmed. 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 Oh. That kid was moving like they were armed. So... For someone with PTSD like the character already has, and seems like he fought in the Iraq War. I'm to blame for that. Yeah. It was it's a mistake, it but it's started, one that permanently it? apparently weighs on his brain. Mm-hmm. He visited the kid in the hospital. I've seen this room before. Here comes our handsome lad. Hey, is it true you shot your pretty face off in basic training? And what kind of girl? Hey, shh. He's coming. playing a character who wanted to be a good person but was too gentle to be in the situation he put himself in. And I'm not sure any amount of therapy will help him. Because he can't let the guilt go. Yeah. It's hard to let go. Forced. Killing someone is gonna testify <sighs> doesn't make it easier to deal with. Let alone the accident like with the kid. So he's got both war issues and the kid issue. Yeah. And both are pretty good oh. areas. They're not good areas. Yay, now I'm gonna get hypothermia. And maybe pneumonia. Oh, wait, there are those words on the wall. There are other words over there. I always thought I was innocent. So. Like oh, incompetent. Oh, hi. Okay. Uh, are you going for the previous words that you've done? Oh. oh, that's normal. Fours bleed all the time. Murderer. Which allow them to conduct a surprise attack. Combatants killed in actions. Ellen Palmer, Ashley Elwood, Rosak. Hayward, Oliver Marley, Sophie Fester it's, Boyce, Keith. I'm Forrest. going to say it sounds like your character blames himself for your group getting caught in a basically a surprise attack on your group. Yeah. I understand the guilt, 
And I also understand saying it's not your fault can sometimes make someone feel worse. Mm -hmm. I felt that before, before I got better. It's, it's not simple dealing with those feelings. Really weird that this video game understands that. Yep. Lift the wall. I have no idea what that did. <coughs> Same. Be strong and lift walls. Fuck your shit. <laughs> oh, it's him again. I don't know how we got back at the sawmill. I don't think you're at the sawmill. This is the house of hallucination. Oh. Oh, nice. Seems familiar somehow. I know shit. So I got everything fixed. Wait a minute. Okay, I bet if I wait here and let it play. Yep. Bingo. I have big brain. Let's roll one. He is here, your shadow. Okay. Thanks for the heads up to avoid the jump scare. <laughs> Okay, I gotta do what I did before. Look at the ground. Careful, don't look. Okay, back to looking at the floor. This is a very nice floor. What do you think, Jerry? Uh, very floor. I could. Bright as trying to glare once again. You know the dog that helped you throughout the entire, the majority of the game? You know about it. I think child kidnapper killed your dog. Mm. Sylvester voice. 
and Bright is going through a building that's part witch, part hallucination, and part just broken down to find the child. Roscoe Hayward. And of course, you don't have They're the dog that helps you. Because of me. Because the killer is an asshole. I guess you're required to be an asshole to kidnap children. Yeah, you are. And the character you're playing, mm -hmm. he well, he fought in the Iraq War, and he feels guilty because uh, part God, of his troop team thing he was part of, mm -hmm. some of the people were killed in a surprise attack, and he blamed himself. There was another thing, when he, after Iraq, when he joined the police force, he... Uh, there was a uh, robber that moved to like they were armed, but they were not armed. It was an unarmed kid, and he blamed <laughs> himself for shooting that kid. And it was a bad mistake. Oh, that's normal. So, well, you know. Oh, no. You're not like you did that on purpose. It's horrible, but it doesn't make him evil. I mean, there's a reason he's no longer part of the police force. He killed. Murderer. And that makes sense. God damn it, Ellis. I, I can't do this again. He's I'm definitely sorry, not a kid to be a police officer. Sorry, I'll just try to see what you've done. Also, it's a good one, but this game understands PTSD a bit too much. Add that with witches. Yeah. Wait, what? There's no door. Oh, what the fuck? Try going through a window? No. no. Oh. because you were feeling trapped yourself. That's a horrible and creative way to put it. Who are you, Ellis? Oh, gotta crouch again. You broke it. Oh, wait. Careful, careful, careful. Puppet. I've been waiting for you. You do not see me. You look, you dead. No shit, I know. Nothing.
it's over that way, so let's just go away from him. Your turn. There's a wall right here. I can't go this way. Oh. can't look at yourself in the mirror anymore, can you? No, that's barely because I keep punching mirrors, because I think they're fun to punch. What? Okay, bad luck. Get in the corner. Don't look at her. Okay. The corner. I'll be safe there. Fuck. Oh, I looked at her. I guess I gotta wait for her to pass. I'm not moving. It's a cutscene. just had to or I wasn't far enough in the corner yep it's over ma'am Is he going to get in that corner?
So disorienting. Gonna kill someone. Well, maybe I do book for him. I want to kill a person to kill my dog. You want to kill the kidnapper? See, it says me to go down here, but I don't know. Oh, there we go. Really, hatchet. Good. Yeah, apparently the house is making me think murderous thoughts. I don't think it was the house that started that. I think it was the Blair Wolf. to be a hatch on the ground. Yeah. One video where you open the hatch. Well, do you have other videos on you? 
Or you hold just one at a time? No. Fuck. He's not here. What now? Guess I actually have to look for a geek. Did you really think it would be that easy, Ellis? Uh, the kid would be waiting here for you. You can save him and go home a hero. I know, Willis. <laughs> you don't get to do that. Where are you, motherfucker? Show yourself! I'm gonna kill you with my bare hands. And after what you've done, I'm gonna enjoy it! This is gonna be a fight of epic proportions. I'm gonna kill his Epper mother. proportions? Yes. It's Epper yeah, means he, something he, better he than epic. Yes. Yeah. PTSD wounded maniac and murderous maniac. Both had enough. One good, one bad. Who will win? Oh, what the fuck? Well, you can't really win when you're, like, co coded in ptsd laden mess. Just so you know, you're definitely not in either location. That first sounds like the fusion of epic and better. Actually, it almost sounds like outside. it could... It almost sounds like it could be a Norse deity name, too. I think this is the end of the chapter and game, because I can't do anything right now. Fuck. No, 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 please, 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 please. God, I'm not gonna hurt you. Shush, shush, no, 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 I'm not gonna hurt you. Please, 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 please. Shush, 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 shush. Quiet, quiet. Oh, I killed her. I'm so sorry. Sorry. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's why we kept seeing her eyes. Okay, that makes sense. Fuck! You sick fuck! This is what you get, you fucking piece of shit! <laughs> it's over. It's finally Shut over. Shut up! All those people, children, <laughs> I will rip your fucking heart out! Here anymore. You won't get out of it that easily! Free. Free. I won't let you! <laughs> she always wanted you to become... Shut up! Take his face? You earned it? Oh, what the fuck? Oh. <coughs> He's alive! He's alive! He's alive, but now he fears you. This is the bad ending. Oh. Ellis gave into his rage and despair. The cycle continues. Carver was born again. Despite his injuries, Bullet survived. He was later found wandering inside the Shannon's house. How do you not give in to anger? Just cut all ties with Ellis after learning of his fate. She didn't say a word. Peter's fate remains unknown. Is there a way to not give in to your rage? I don't know. With no clue to its whereabouts, Jairus Lanning's body was never recovered from the Black Hills forest. Todd McKinnon's body was found months later in the Tappy East Creek sawmill so rotten it was nearly beyond identification.
You can book, because I don't know when I'll come back to playing this again. Oh no! I looked it up, and to get the good ending, you need to save the monsters in the Black Hills Forest. Oh, okay. That requires keeping the camera light to a minimum and using night vision to make sure they don't sneak up on Ella. If you accidentally kill a monster, the player will need to start again and make sure the monsters are safe. Where are you? That means you need to play the entire game over again. Oh well. Will you do it? Well, not for a long while. And also, don't destroy the totems you find. Oh. Oh. The, my hypothesis that you could get a different ending by golding the pooch at certain times is wrong. Yeah. Or pick up any card figures. So don't pick up the card figures, don't smash the symbols, and don't shoot not so don't kill the monsters. I'm just glad bullets okay. That's all I care about. Bullets fine. Right? Yeah. Your character is a crazed forest murderer now. Yeah. Well, you can't get a different ending by scolding a pooch. It's just the bad doggo ending. I don't think we want that ending. Oh. Who wears the previous guy's face? But completion. I I don't want to hurt the dog, bookworm. No, I'm not doing it. You know what? Since we're talking about dogs, I'm like I'm gonna let the credits roll and pet my my doggo. So I'll be back. That's a good idea. Bright leaves. The song starts screaming, "Come back!" <laughs> yep. Yes, it does. Book, please clip that. The witch wants her back. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, right back. The second you said, I'll be right back, the song for the credits had the guy start screaming, Come back! We'll come back? Yeah. Oh my god, that needs to be clipped. I asked Bookworm to do that. Yeah, this this is actually was a good game. E. Iron. I must acquire all of the F E. I will say I would love to see. What, what happened? Day. What happened? Oh, okay. I didn't hear what you said, Jerry. I would like to see the good ending. Yeah, that nope. sounds very hard to get. That'll be a stream for another time. Fair enough. Right now, we're going to go... Okay. Nice.
गए हैं God talking. God <laughs> fucking damn it. All I was saying that on Chills Arts Patreon, the game The Bathhouse is going to be remade in 2024. How do you stream her so badly? I usually have the, my voice muted because usually when I go to animation, I go to the bathroom. I want to hear you coming me. Uh, hear any noises, stuff like that, like doors opening. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hatchet thirty three show Hatchet is taking over Bright's channel. I told you it was my plan from the get go. You thought it was a joke, but nah, I'm taking over. Your noodles. Oh, I probably should have said this at the beginning of the stream. Photo epilepsy warning. <laughs> Does it show up on stream? I'm waiting to see if it shows up on stream. The downside of living in a very beautiful dripstone caves biome in Minecraft yeah, is occasionally falling onto dripstone and getting hurt severely. Also change Twitch category, says Book. Alright, I need to do that. Damn it. Done. Anyways, next we only got three more episodes. We got the lab conduit. Uh, conduct. Why did I say conduit? It's not even the same thing as conduct. The lab conduit. Yeah. The lab conduct. Start. Some commands may be case sensitive. Keep a lookout for this. Okay. I wonder if it's going to have this intro every time for each episode. This is subject 12198623, new session entry. We have myself, Dr. Alexander Leading, assisted by Dr. Williams, and in the lab itself, our volunteer, Mr. Asian. We have Artifact 23 in the chamber, recovered from Crash Site B. At the moment it appears inert, showing no signs of activity. Mr. Asian, instructions for each stage will come through to your terminal, and we need you to follow them exactly. Now, some of this may be unfamiliar, so always reference the manual on your terminal for guides on calibration and procedure. 
Okay. So they should not have given this job to Bright. The green light will flash. Fuck I'll you. To trigger the experiment. One last thing. Ensure that any equipment non-essential to the current experiment is switched off. You cannot proceed until your calibration matches ours. When you're ready, let's bring this back. Okay, so the manual, I experiment 01 internal analysis subject J1986-MEM is enclosed with salt, salt out layers, x-ray artifact, x-ray artifact to determine its internal structure. Okay. Okay, manual. Oh. Press the keys blacketed in the top menu to move between pages. Press tab to roll over to the chest chamber. Okay. At the chamber, use your mouse cursor to select and interact. Okay. So I need to, need to x ray. Uh. I don't know if that was the x-ray. I don't know what I'm doing. I will again repeat my statement. They should have gotten someone else to do this job than Bright. Oh, x-ray. I'm assuming XR means X-ray, okay. What now? X-ray artifact towards the internal structure. Okay. Okay, so one. Ah, okay, so that is output rows. Apparatus monitor set to X ray X now be X charge CC eighty six X ray device. CC Okay. What's the CC eighty six? Oh, there it is. I don't need that. Okay. There's nothing there. Oh, wait. No, it just says charge the CCT. There we go. Now what? I mean, I did that. It, it's set to the X-ray. Uh, monitor set to X-ray. XR X-ray. And I charge the CC eighty six. Now what? Unless I have to do everything else. Uh, two concentrated light laser. Where did I first? MCR two light generator set wavelength. Monitor set to RGB. No, that doesn't make sense. Because we're, we're trying to x ray it. Why? 
Your mouse cursor to select it and interact. It's not telling me to do anything else. Oh, for fuck's sake! A winning extra. Good work. The no, I coming click through that. Now. No visible damage to the surrounding organic material, and no signs of activity either. All output is flatlined. Okay, let's begin. Experiment complete. Demonstrate the effects of laser light on object. Try using a low, low-powered red laser to begin with okay so 650 nm set wavelength okay lcr2 needs to be set at 650 lcr2 Aha. 650 it needs to be turned on to that. That is a heart. No reaction from first stage. Let's try a high frequency. Okay. Why are we looking at a, a, a heart? Laser the heart bright. You know you want to. Let's use the green laser. 510. I don't know what NM is. What the fuck's NM? Is that like a measurement of light frequency? I would imagine. It sounds very familiar, but I'm drawing a blank. So 510. 510. Oh, maybe it's nanometers? Maybe. Okay, we have a reaction of some sort here, a weak signal. Let's keep going. Increase again. I don't like this because I'm. It feels like I'm working for SCP Foundation. I'm a serpent's hand member. I'm not okay with this. Did the serpent's hand not undergo, like, experiments? No. They do not hmm. experiment. No. They they try and free and give anomalies a better life. That's their main goal. I don't think every anomaly should be freed, but I am right. SCP, so... I guess that's the thing to me, like, depending on the anomaly, would you look at that? that would be... It seems we have a puzzle. There, there is a no, number of stable. ones that would destroy no, the world if they were free. The it's possibly damaged. It's and some that could actually s end world hunger, like the, the pizza box has infinite pizza. Oh yeah, what I was gonna say is like, uh, it, it would seem like doing some experiments would be pretty important to them considering the fact that depending on depending on the anomaly you might need to get a better understanding of them to actually help them right i will say there are some scps that should not go out in the world like yeah the potato sack uh, yeah where'd you flip it upside down just there's infinite potatoes everywhere. You could literally destroy your world with a sack. Just fill the entire world with potatoes. That's how the last world died. Yeah, that's happened, Hatchet. <laughs> Fun. Yeah, if you go inside the sack of potatoes, you connect to a world, or rather, you walk into a world that is full of death and potatoes. Just potatoes. 250 hertz sine wave. 
or something. I feel, I feel like I do remember like listening to some narrations of like an expedition log into the sack. Don't know if it got that far in that explanation though. And it said one. Okay, a sine wave. I can't. It says set to one. I can't fire game set to one. Oh, wait a minute. Wrong button. It's got to be this right here. can match because the lowest this can go is 20 hertz ah 250 uh, hertz i think i peopled out for the night that's have a good yeah. night jerry have a good night jerry have a good night Set to zero. And I have to be doing something wrong. Set that signal. Uh, sine wave with Empire game set to one. Yeah, that's the sine wave right there. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. Set 
250, amplifier gain set to 1. Amplifier's right here. I'm fucking confused. I think I'm gonna head out. My head right. is killing me. See you, Hatchet. <laughs> Good luck with night shifts for the next few days. Thanks. Take care, book. Bye bye. Goodbye. I'm so fucking confused. I wholeheartedly believe it's the amplifier. I really don't know what I'm doing wrong. Because I have it set to one. So I'll be tuned. The middle is 2.5. 3, 4, 5. So confused. <coughs> Sorry about that. Oh my god, that is so fucking stupid. I had to fucking turn the f this off. Not much of a response. 
response. Uh, updating the experiment now. Now, when is it actually going to get scary? The gruesome frame is about 500 hertz, sine wave, and amplifier theme to five. When it said. Yeah, 500. <clears throat> Seeing some fluctuations in activity should be increased to the risk of damage. What about the velocity? Okay, we're going to push further. I'm running out of time. Let's switch around. Okay. Switch a square wave. Okay. It should be, yeah, that. Switch it to you. Oh. I didn't change the wave. <coughs> um, guys? Seeing good activity on this side. Seeing definite spikes in movement. I know this might seem uncomfortable or dangerous, but you need to trust us and keep going. I don't trust you, but all right. Then gain five and a square wave form. Bring the wave force frequency up to one kilohertz. Waveform frequency. I did it. Is this no? I'm just going to keep going up because this is what it's supposed to be. I don't think I did anything correctly. Because I don't know what I'm doing.
<coughs> oh, I overshot it. That's what happened. If you are ever unsure what to do, reread the experiment and consult the manual. It will guide you through the operation. Hey, Buckworm, are you still here? Past it. There it is. Oh, that's disturbing. Full activity registering. We did it. Can you hear us? You've made excellent progress. You're doing great. I just blew now up the heart. Stay calm and try to relax as we go through these next steps. Attempt to alleviate some of the discomfort. Prototype casing was off. Proceed to drill the surface. Switch to on. Sure, all equipment makes it. Camera and TV are switched off. When ready, turn on sync master and as normal to begin drawing. Okay, so. so wait, so. Only the camera and the TV. And I can't turn that off. Oh. Under control. Do you Take really? Moments, and when you're ready, we'll continue. Make contact with the artifact. Open the test chamber. Sure, your your next kin is updated at HR. Sparing agreement for owners for assistance to clear. The table of items will be dimmed up. Oh, well, that would have been probably nicer to know. Well, Bookworm, I'm going to die. It's nice knowing you. It can show you its memories. Look into it. The 
visions will translate onto the screen to be something that you can understand, that you can play out. Come on a cryopod struggling against gravity, you force yourself up. Impact into the planet's surface was torn a hole in the ship hole. <laughs> you can <never> <laughs> atmosphere spills into you your know. craft. Well, You're in grave first. danger. You have to get out of here. Dark door is cramped shut, it is controlled remotely. Action unavailable. Look, object not recognized. The craft is broken beyond repair. There's wreckage all around. The airlock door is locked tight, and a computer terminal adjacent blinks. You're now sitting next to the computer terminal. You tap at the screen and an airlock door sputters, splutters to life, slowly opening with a horrendous noise. The ship powers down to silence, having spent the last of its reserves. I believe numbers are colors now. You squeeze through the damaged airlock and fall to your knees on the ground next to your vehicle. This is incredible. How are we getting all of this? It's describing the moment we found the ship. Mr. Asian, please continue. Every breath brings pain to your chest. You look around and see you're surrounded by mangled metal. Bright lights pour through every gap in the surrounding wreckage. Crash high smoke bellows from a down ship. Exterior lights flicking on and off. Wreckage surrounds you. Looking upwards, you see unfamiliar star patterns. Did I spell that wrong?
Nope. I am so confused. What do I say? Maybe this will work. Oh. With every ounce of your remaining strength, you move enough of the wreckage for you to carefully crawl through. The lights that surround you now attack your senses. artificial lights surround you set up to illuminate the crash site and darkness behind them an army of people all staring one figure steps out a silhouette and walks towards you you say hello Like I said, book, I'm not going to die. You awake, the room is, is silent only for a quiet hum of equipment, an occasional machine peep. Your touch isn't yours. We are all as one. We move together in unison. We are in a bed in a small and artificially lit room with a single door. There is some sort of writing into the wall. Adjacent to is a display monitor. We didn't put this entity in quarantine. It expired at a crash. Whose memories are these? When did this happen? Jason is a display monitor with wires that drape across the room and into our chest. They have tortured us. Stuck together are a series of flat sheets with symbols across them. Some sort of writing. Can't reach the door effectively tethered to the machine. Damn it. Nope, that didn't work. the door effectively tethered to the machine. Okay. seem to indicate where our body they had cut we have been butchered and maimed all over and over oh i didn't read it god damn it oh shit 
What just happened? What's that alarm? There's been a disconnection in quarantine lab steam. We'll find out what's going on. We yank at the wires protruding from our chest. Together, we all scream in pain. This action sets off an alarm, echoing loudly down the adjacent corridor. got me trapped in here, I'm gonna continue doing what I want. I work the servant's hand, not you foundation bastards. But what? I just pressed the W key and I, and it did that, okay. Through the door we find ourselves in an empty room with a device on the table. It looks familiar. They don't know how it works, but this host does. The door closes behind us and a, and a lock clamps shut. We are alone together. Spice. Egg. Device. Use device. Thank you. second that's right that's right there that's right there looks a bit of this it's not right there we go I'm supposed to match these. What the hell am I supposed to do with this? Oh shit, what did I just do? I don't know what I did. I was just fucking around with the symbols. Wait. 
Bye bye. One day, Mr. Asian, this will haunt you. Revolt. Bookworm, set fire to the chat. Because you're joining the revolution. Set fire. I give you permission. Set fire. Round go to open our commands of your friends or whatever. Viva la revolution. Yes. Yes, let the fire consume the fascists. For thinking they can lock us away. Station 3, do you read me? No. Give me a sign, man. This storm is getting pretty wild. Fuck you. Come on, 3. Log in. Quit fucking around. I'm purposely going slow. Zero three zero three one nine six eight. Unless we're certain. Yeah, that's, that's it. That our cows. Want to enter for a second? There he is. Finally, what took you? Is the mic train still going to station three? I'll take that as a yes. Yeah, you can't reply. You should be able to hear you though. I can see activity registering, so your voice is definitely going through. Oh, okay. We can chat later, Three. Yeah, this is pretty serious. I've had a distress call from Central. There's a situation and we have to fire up signal monitoring and relay systems right away. What kind of situation? I don't know. I'm assuming it's got something to do with this storm. Whatever it is, it's big to want to involve us. Shit. Okay, what do we do then? <sighs> well... My fucking cabin power isn't holding up in this weather, so I can't process the signals myself. Two, you need to feed the frequency information through to the backup terminal in station three. And three, you just need to tune, decode, and process. Just refer to the handbook on the microfilm. It'll walk you through it. I've never done any of this stuff, so I'm not going to be much help, I'm afraid. It's simple, honestly. You could do this in your sleep. Okay. First one is due to appear in a minute or so. Have a quick read of that microfilm handbook. It should be on your left. I'm going to get suited up and restart the generator. Don't fuck it up. Maybe... Oh. Okay, three, we're up. Do whatever it is you're supposed to do. I can barely read that. Okay, so F M uh, nineteen thirty. Oh, back, 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 back now. Uh. 
1930 kilohertz. Zero, 14, 14, nine, three. Thirteen, zero, fourteen, fourteen, nine, three. Vasquez. Thirteen, zero, fourteen, fourteen, nine, three. Thirteen, zero, fourteen, fourteen, nine, three. I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. Because I couldn't read the goddamn manual. It was way too fucking blurred and fucking small to read. I have no idea what I'm doing, bookworm. <laughs> Having to use the fucking walkthrough because it doesn't tell you at any point you have to do this. Okay, my light here just turned green and the signal stopped. So I think you did it right. Next one coming up in 30 seconds, apparently. Don't leave them hanging too long. I don't know what they're for. But I know we have to make them top priority. Wait, what? I'll get shit. Of course, don't worry, we'll keep on top of it. Okay, there it is. Creepy sounding things, aren't they? Oh, now it does tell me. God damn it. <coughs> I didn't know there was multiple pages. Now I feel bad for looking at the walkthrough. You won't judge me, right? 
because it didn't sign over multiple pages. God damn it. USB wavelengths? Not too much. Okay. I didn't know USBs had wavelengths, but now they do. This must be this. Hold on. Twenty six fourteen zero one two. Oh, my God. That, that I hate that. Twenty six fourteen zero. Shut the fuck up. All right, so Chevron. Let's see what Chevron is. Is this Chevron back here? Oh, my gosh. There's one called Sigma. <laughs> Oh wow, Chevron's really far back. Ref dot in it. Ref dot in it. Not sure if there was a space or not. Oh, wrong ref. I think it was like that, but I can't remember the second letter. Yeah. And then dash Z. Enter. Proc begin. Get dot int. Get. No, yeah, that's not. That's comma dot int. No, it's like a sorry's That no, it's wrong. That. X Y Z. X Y Z. I have no idea if they have to be capital or not. Oh my gosh, they have to be cap at all. X, Y, Z. Happy? Oh my god. Get dot int xyz xyz What did I do wrong here? What's wrong with this one? Cause that says get, right? I can't tell. It's really fucking hard to see. Unless... Hold on. 
Oh, that's supposed to be that. What the fuck? It's exactly what it is. What? Oh, variable replacement. Where X. Oh, you. Mm, I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill this fucking. Whoever designed the fucking thing, I'm gonna. Mm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna just. I'm, I'm gonna hurt the person who fucking designed this stupid fucking manual. Oh my god. Okay, X is two, so it's two, five, six. So it says X, Y, Z, so it's two, five, six. Oh wait, X is number from the broadcast, where X, Y, Z. Oh, it's for his number code, okay. So two and five. Okay, let's hear it again. Twenty six, fourteen, zero, one, two. One. Twenty. Where X two. Fourteen, zero, one, two. Why didn't your fuck is the fifth? Twenty six. Fourteen, zero, one, two. Oh, wait a minute. I get it now. Twenty, six, fourteen, Okay, so X, second number. So the second number would be six. Fifth number, so it's 26, 14, zero, one. Would be one. And which would mean final number is two. Yeah! You proud of me, Bookworm? Thanks, Ray. Just pushing this update to transmit now. I managed to get Getting that puzzle. Next one coming up. Um. Oh what? my God. What does GCS mean? GCS. What do you mean? Yeah. No, this <laughs> next one has come through with an additional note. GCS three equals E one V one M one. I've not seen it before. Check the microfilm. Might be something in there about it. Listen. Let me know when you're done with that one. I haven't heard back from the transport team and I'm starting to worry. Sure thing. Okay, here it is. Whoa. Okay, that's different. Flashing red screen. Yeah, quite the warning sign. Shit. Something's going on. The last two must have just been testing the system. Tune it as normal and I'll see what I can find out once I get these goddamn lights on. Fuck. I suck at Morse code. I don't know. I don't know Morse code. I don't know Morse code.
bookworm. Or I think about looking at the walkthrough. Do you know Morse code? Code. Because <coughs> I don't know Morse code, and I'm not gonna understand this. Appendix Morse code. Yeah, I'm not gonna understand it because I can't tell with my ears. Like, how many, no matter how many times I hear it, I'm looking at it. Even if I got that, I still can't understand that. I, I mean, I understand it. It's just that it's moving too fast for me to understand. Oh, whoops. I fucked it up. He says, Okay, now shut the fuck up. Anubian. Oh, that's easy. Oh, not for as well, it's not for as Okay. I'm good. How are you? Okay, so points that PKG. Point. But I'm not sure if it's peak. It's, is it like that? Or, no, it's all lowercase. God damn it. That exe brackets nine. Whoops. The highest number, largest number from the original podcast, that's nine. Lowest was zero. So that's, this is rather easy. Okay, the same as the one at the bottom. From the way it looks like, and it, except for the one at the bottom, zero. Alright. I'm dick, but almost. Oh. <laughs> okay, I know what you meant to say. I'm sorry. I, I know. Oh. Uh, well, I'm glad you're recovering. I'm glad you're recovering. Here. Sorry about that. I hate my typos. Bracket zero. I'm going to burn in hell for them. Now dash a dash forty. It's either forty eight or forty three. I'm gonna go forty eight. Sal dash a dash forty eight. Sal dash a dash forty eight. Fuck. What? The largest number for an original broadcast was nine. What? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I'm so fucking stupid.
It's not. <coughs> it's EX, not EXE. <coughs> Sorry about that. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. <coughs> Sorry about that. I'm still sick. I think that's supposed to be that. Yeah! Okay, one, we're done. Nothing has happened really, all good. What did you want? I'm about to head outside to look at this generator. <laughs> My cabin is completely out. Listen, I just checked the roster and we were supposed to hear from the supply team three days ago. But you better but get better, ma'am. No responses. Yeah. Sure. I'll hopefully get Does better you know? by tomorrow. Three. Hopefully. Can you monitor oh. the range for me? They use an emergency signal somewhere between eight, eight and a half thousand range. FM. See That's concerning. That's our supplies for the next six months. Are you feeling? Yes. Turn back. What do we do? We can reschedule. I'm more worried that they didn't turn back. Otherwise, we'd be having yeah, a You're fine. Now. The boat was called 20F. God, yeah. Okay. Three. Eight, eight and a half thousand FM somewhere. See if you can pick up a distress signal or something. Fuck, I wasn't paying attention. I forgot what line. I wasn't paying attention. Oh no. Okay. I didn't see where I had to do an FM. All I had I saw it is that it's somewhere on FM. Okay. Does anyone read? This is supply vessel 20F. Do you read me? Oh my god, that's them. Stress signal from supply vessel 20F. Please respond. Is anyone there? We don't have enough supplies to last whatever this is out. <coughs> we have some on board, but it's not enough. We try to turn back, but Storm, or them, Mess with our GPS and send us straight into the ice. What on earth is he talking about? We're holed up here. We just got word from Central that New York has fallen. Everyone's gone there now. I thought us being so remote would give us time, maybe, but uh, I can see them coming. Be ready, all of you. It's 20 at 5. One, are you there? Are you hearing this? Lock your door, too. Three, do the same. What do you mean? Did you hear the report? I just got a call from Station B at the coast. Something is happening. You're I good. don't know what. You're fine. They said we had to lock up and stay in our cabin. Then it went dead. What are you You're talking fine, about? Nubia. Just do it. They're here. Ah! Who are they? Shit, one. There's another GCS signal coming in. Do we do we process it still? Yeah. As long as the GCS number is going up, we're helping a lot of people. It was three last time. It's six this time. What does it mean? That's good. That's good. Just process the signals. That's it in. Please, we actually read the numbers. Not be Morse code, please. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. What? Light. Zulu. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. Light. Zulu. Sierra. Hotel. 
Bravo. It's military Echo. code. Well, that's the thing. I don't know military code, so I'm Light. fucked. Zulu. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. Jesus. Uh, thank you for following. Zulu. Uh, Garden Gore. Sierra. I appreciate it. First, Hotel. Uh, first letter Bravo. of the words. Oh. Echo. Night. Zulu. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. Night. Zulu. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. Night. Zulu. This Sierra. is from Gar, by the way, if you didn't Hotel. know. Ah, okay. Bravo. Welcome, Gar. Echo. That people the end. Yeah. So it's Night. probably the numbers Zulu. of the letters. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. I'm gonna say this be capitalized. Night. Zulu. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. Night. Zulu. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. Nope. It's the it's the numbers. Night. Zulu. <coughs> Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. Night. So it'll be Zulu. What team? Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. Night. Zulu. Sierra. Six. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. Night. Zulu. Sierra. Hotel. Nineteen. Bravo. Echo. Wait, did I get that right? Night. Zulu. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. Night. Yep. Zulu. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. Oh. Echo. Was it supposed to be 18? Night. Or I'll trust your judgment. Zulu. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. Nope. Echo. What the Night. fuck? Zulu. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. Night. Zulu. Sierra. <coughs> Hotel. Bravo. Echo. Night. Zulu. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. Night. Zulu. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. Night. Zulu. Sierra. Hotel. Yeah, we were never gonna get that. Apparently, Echo. it's the it's the codes for the military names or whatever. I, I don't know the numbers for that shit. Zulu. Sierra. Okay, you can shut the fuck up. Yeah. 
Yeah, anyways, the codes were 15, 2, 21, 10, 4, 7. What the fuck? Oh, sorry, Nubian. I didn't know you were going to find them out. I'm sorry. Okay, so hold on. Let's see. You're centaur. You are 15. <coughs> oh, wait. Centaur. Oh, well, you're easy. You don't have any special shit. M dot status dash R. M dot M dot status. <coughs> you we were wrong with N. Oh N is is November. Oh. Okay, so that's how we got it wrong. Oh, well, well, we got the answer anyways. It was K. Oh. Okay, so. Dash R. Kilo. Ah. Command dot STR. STR dash C H dot grid dash dash I don't even know what the fuck that is maybe W H dot grid dash H dot grid dot w m dot status oh i see what i did wrong sound like it ended with t guys swiss puzzle command dot str dash z that's it The only T I could find was Foxtrot and Juliet. Ah. Oh, I see what I did wrong. I didn't capitalize the C. You were caps lock stop coming on. Fuck. It sounded like night, but that's not a real one. Oh. Is it capital W? Yeah, there we go. Three, there's something... I don't know what I'm looking at. Cabling? One, I can see something above Three's cabin. One of the power lines down. One, are you there? Um, no, thank you. Fuck. What the hell is that? I can't see you from here, one. What's going on? Oh, it's my above goodness. Me. Shit, it's above me. It's over station three, two. They're here. What's here? Jesus, one, what the fuck is out there? It's fine. It's fine. You'll be fine. Oh, NS-1, offline. Shit. Here's another signal. GCS-7 equals E-1, V-5, M-1. One, what the hell? It's flashing urgent. Alright, I'll be right back. Um... Bookworm and Nubian will take turns entertaining the stream. I believe in you.
toaster.
I'm back. I seriously do need to go ahead and check that fucking uh, stream alerts thing where why it, that stopped working. So weird. Okay, so it's on USB. Oh my gosh. Really, Buck? Or TTS Only TTS Brook, yeah. Thank you. I'm fine with that. Oh my god. I think sacrifice was down this way. Guys, yep. are any of you walking around in that stall? That's crazy. You'll get yourself killed. No one is outside. You're seeing things, four. What is it? Rot dot x. X will equal numbers one, two, and three for an original broadcast represent longitude. Fuck. I don't even remember the passcode. Three. Not for station three. This is station four. Do not go outside. Don't go out there. Stay inside. Lock up. Do not go out there. Guys, I'm shutting down Station 5 and getting the fuck out of here. They took six. Station 6 is fucking gone. Those things just ripped it out of the ground. Authorization word from Appendix... Appendix 6. Okay, so I'm uh, Appendix C. So I'll, I'll go... Okay, so... Before, okay, so now I know... What it is. Okay. Now, I got... I only know the numbers now. I don't know how. I re looked up what the numbers were so I don't forget. <laughs> so it's rot. Rot dot. X. Which means. <coughs> Damn it. It's in COVID. 189 bracket. What? Yeah, there was numbers in order to signify. Oh, wait a minute. I'm a fucking idiot. One, eight, nine, zero, four, five. One, eight, nine, zero, four, five. Okay, zero, four, five is the last three numbers. That's weird. Act. You wait. You wait. Dot Y. Dot Y. Okay, oh, I hit the wrong key. Zero, four, five. Point dot one. Okay, so point dot one. Whoops, no, I did not need to do that. Point dot one. 
Authorization word from Appendix C. So let's see what the Appendix B. C crossword. Start signal modulation. Okay, so what was it set to? Can't remember. USB. Set the USB. So broadcast frequency. Yeah. 8150. Process of total broadcast numbers. Are you dead? No, I don't, I don't know. Total number beats 30. Okay, total number beats 30. I don't think it does. One plus eight plus nine. Plus four, plus five. Nope. Three less than 30. It does not beat 30. Okay, so we go up there. No. Then we go up here. <coughs> and the code word is Alexander. Yeah. Sorry about that. Let's see if I'm correct. Yeah! Spawn to the messages correctly. Yes! Three. James. The last signal hasn't sent. My terminal is going crazy demanding a response. I think the wind has misaligned the transmitter or something. We need to go out to it. Please, James. I'm sorry, but I can't get out. I'm trapped. You'll still be able to hear me, though. Go. Go. Jesus. I am outside. Oh, wait a minute, this is new. I'm actually able to walk around. You are so dead. Probably. Well, at least we get to see what the things are. This is a really far walk from my base. Why can't 
can't mess with them. Oh, I get it. I need to go to the other generators. List generator. And boom, bitches. Oh shit, cutscene. Oh, there's birds. Destroy those lights, get out of the gas station. I can't feel my legs, James. Well, I we got power, so put the heat on. Hearing whispering in the horn. He's coming back. You're scared. <laughs> well, there's nothing wrong. Everything's James, fine. Everyone is waiting on you. You need to wake up. I'm pretty sure I'm awake. These machines, they are your lifeline. A warm place. Finish episode three. See, we didn't die. I think you are in a coma? Maybe. Is this it? Sometimes you may need to look beyond the screen to progress. That's enough of that for now. <laughs> well, fuck the intro, I guess. You're quite fond of the show, aren't you? Oh, fourth wall breaking. Okay, come on. Let's get you down to the observation room. Oh, wait, what the fuck? This place must be starting to feel like home to you. 
Uh, uh, excuse me, Don't I worry. want freedom. Excuse me. You eventually. Under stress, keep Just a healthy a mind. No. Do what I want, motherfucker. Okay, are we through in the next room? Just relax, and we'll get started in a moment. How about you go fuck yourself? Right, Mr. Asian, now are you ready? Just hit record on the tape deck in front of you when you're ready. This is subject 12198623, new session entry. We have myself, Dr. Alexander, leading, and in the room we have our patient, Mr. James Asian. As we know, James has recently recovered from a two week coma following his accident. In our last three sessions, James's attempts to recollect events of the accident seen him merging his memory with his imagination. These episodes have always ended in panic, and we've had to terminate the session abruptly. Let's try and do this one better, James. So when you're ready, let's bring this back. I know how difficult this must be, but you can do this. James. Time to remember. What the fuck? Well, wow, Anubian, you're correct. Your mind. It's like a conscious black box. It can show you your memories. Look into it. Oh my god. I was just guessing. <laughs> well, you are correct. <laughs> episode, you recalled a false memory of a remote weather station. You were isolated from the rest of the world, locked inside your coma. We interacted with you daily, encouraging you to wake. Your family would do number puzzles with you, anything really to bring you back. People needed answers, James. Do you remember? I have another signal here for you, James. It's a 5610FM. You can't miss it. Please don't be more scope. Please don't be more scope. Please don't be more scope. Yeah! Type in the numbers, James. Fuck off. Report. F dash. 
Damn it, can't flock. F dash. Fatal accident. And then empty whiskey. Out of control. What? What? That's exactly what that line is. Fatal accident. Let me F fatal. Fatal accident. What the hell? Well, it's supposed to be a different number, but I can't tell what that number is. In a fucking walkthrough said that's exact exactly how I wrote it is correct. What the fuck? Unless it's because of this. I swear if it's because of that. What the fuck? Then I'm confused. Oh my god, seriously? That is so fucking stupid. Find the signal, James. Listen to the voices. You have to face it, James. Finally. 700 FM. No, that's not her. 7,000. not likely at all i've worked with officer hennings for six years and not once have we even talked about alcohol drunk driving he, he was a father a husband he was fine no way he caused this it's him so shut this you and Haitian guy this. he's got something to hide the light flickers on This doesn't make sense to you. <laughs> Step out on the hospital ward. Always, only it seems abandoned. Vision is blurry. Except someone else is here. Grab the key from the table. They weigh heavy in your hand. And see ya, bitches. I'm out of here. Fuck. <coughs> Damn it, COVID. Can I go in here?
There's nothing in here. You spent most waking moments in here. The only video they have, some horror co compilation. Trash! It's the game! <laughs> oh my god. Oh. You only got a glimpse of the room. You guess that's why there's no detail here. Waiting area is dark, but you feel a presence right behind you. Fuck. Someone breathes on your neck, standing over you. You mean that? I'm about to throw hands. I'm the crazy butt stabber, and I will annihilate everyone. You feel dread in the pit of your stomach. Okay, we have a 22 year old male just brought in from a vehicle collision. He was awake and mobile at the scene, but collapsed on arrival to the emergency ward. The other passengers died in the accident. Sorry about that. I'm getting no pulse. Prepare for defib. Amp charge full to ten and give me one hundred jewels. Come on, hundred jewels. Charging up full to ten. Come on. You turn that on. That's not it. Thanks for waiting. Can we get this on the screen, please? Confused. Who I mess with? I can't see what I'm doing. Get this on the screen now. I forgot how to do the X-ray. See what I'm doing. Get this on the screen now. I don't know what I'm doing. Hmm. Like, what? How do I do the x ray? I forgot. I can't see what I'm doing. Get this on the screen now. See what I'm doing. Get this on the screen now. See what I'm doing. Get this on the screen now. Come on, 
100 jewels, charging up full to 10. Is that 10? Charging up full to ten. It's at ten. Oh, I had to turn that off. Clear. No reaction from first stage. <coughs> Let's try higher. Two hundred jewels. Keep the amp charged at ten. Now I know what I'm doing. 200 joules. Keep the charge at 10. Let's go. Clear. Okay, we have a reaction of some sort here, a weak signal. Let's keep going. Increase again. 360, charge full. Come on, 360, hurry. I'm going as fast as I can, bitch. Clear. Well, would you look at that? It seems we have a pulse. Rhythm is stable. We need to run an x-ray right away. Where are we with that x-ray? Let's get it going now, please. <sighs> Looks like an intracerebral hemorrhage. We need to drain this now to relieve pressure. Prepare for trepanation. Switch on a drill, please. The drill, please. Drill on. Drill away. This is from the other games. It, it, it's making me play through the other games because there are memories. Mr. Asian, you've made excellent progress. You're doing great. We need you to stay calm and try to relax while we go through these next steps. We're going to attempt to alleviate some of this discomfort. That seemed unethical. <laughs> yeah, this is from the other game. The first chapter. We're replaying the other chapters. But they're actually th this guy's memories. Not only is tonight New Year's Eve, but tomorrow you leave on a six month trip abroad with friends. Mom, Dad, and your sister Jenna Jennifer have decided to throw a party to celebrate it all. The house is full. You're in the living room, and as usual, you don't recognize a soul. room is full of chatty strangers, mostly friends of mom and dad. There is a door to the hall. You push through the crowd into the hallway. The hallway is, a, is as welcoming as ever, only this time the folks have put a great big banner up across the main hall, half finished. Drinks are abandoned on almost every horizontal surface. Stairs lead up uh, although the party is firmly downstairs. As much as you would love to, you promise you stay downstairs with the party.
You need to tell me which room you want to go to. Oh. Same as ever, stairs, door to the living room, and door to the kitchen. They say all the best parties are in the kitchen. The kitchen is full of people and, and loud. There are drinks and food on the table, and the party is, is in full swing. Dad has cooked a hog roast, which sits proudly on the table, although no one is eating it. Maybe later. Oh. There's a utility room and writing on the wall. Also, Jen is here signaling you. Happy New Year, 1986. On another banner, banner, weird place to hang it. Just as you're about to head inside the utility room, Jen places her hand on your shoulder. You hug. You're going to miss each other. You thank her for the party. She asks if you are enjoying the party. You tell her it is great, even though you don't really know anyone. She tells you to enjoy it anyway and to loosen up. She asks you to get her a drink. You pour Jen a drink and one for yourself too. There's never an awkward silence with Jennifer. She's always she always has a question. She asks if you have any everything sorted for your big for a big trip. No. You tell her no, and as usual, everything is last minute. Another hug. Your family have really gone out their way to make this trip happen for you. It might be what you need to get some perspective. Maybe not fuck up so much. She's going to miss you, you're going to miss her. She walks away. <coughs> Sorry about that. Janice disappeared into the crowd. You're left standing, nodding, and smiling at the approving faces. There's so much to do for this move. Can't mess it up, but first, drink. You pour down another drink, anything to move the night along. Another drink, anything to move the night along. The room is full, there's a utility room and right on the wall. You open the door and peer in. You're never allowed in, in here. Normally, this is where Dad keeps his fine wines and whiskey ceiling to floor racks, a collector. Although, he does usually drink them too. There's a bottle with a ribbon around it and a card. You pick up the whiskey and the card. It's your dad's handwriting, son. We're so proud of you and everything you've achieved. You've burned this. The bottle of 25 year old double malt. You shouldn't really, but you have to try it. With your whiskey in hand, you take the, in the room around you. There must be hundreds, no thousands of pounds worth of, of drink in here. You really must thank your dad for the whiskey. Sorry, I don't understand. Head back to the kitchen, clutching your new best friend. Someone out of the utility room and back into the kitchen. That is one strong whiskey, 
They take another swig and give a thumbs up. To Dad across the room, he nods and winks. Pour down another drink, anything to move the night along. Busy, noisy, we'll need to find somewhere quieter. Head back into the hall. A few bumps and laughs on the way though, you make it to the hall. You stop dead in your tracks, it's Jen, covered in blood. What the fuck? She's staring straight at you. No one else notices. Blood is dripping down her face. It's mixing with tears. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Oh! Sorry, I don't understand. Sorry, I don't understand. <laughs> oh. Hi. I'm sorry, I don't understand. We tried our best, Mrs. Asian, but her injuries were too severe. No, I don't understand. I was just talking to her. I'm afraid Jennifer passed away before we could get to her in surgery. We did the best we could. I am so sorry. Where is she? Let me see her. Please, Mrs. Asian, take a seat. I don't want to take a seat. Let me talk to her. Now. I'll arrange for you to see her. In the meantime, James is in recovery. He's stable for now. I don't want to see him. You're standing in the hallway, something has stopped to you in your tracks. While s searching your mind, your sister interrupts. She waves her hand in front of you and asks if you, you can drive her home. You still feel out of sorts those words echo. Oh, tr drinking and driving, no. Sorry, I don't understand. Sorry, I don't understand. What the fuck? What do I write? I'm confused. Are you sure your keys are, are in the living room? No! Oh no! No. The room has a much more relaxed atmosphere compared to the kitchen. Ver various civilized conversations. There's there's a coffee table in the middle of the room. Your mom is pouring a drink at the drinks cabinet. Coffee table, drinks came at one of the chairs is overflowing with jackets and coats. Oh, one of my keys must be inside of a coat. You search through all the jackets and the coats until you find yours. Aha, car keys in the pocket. You grab both. Keys in hand, you, hand, you head back into the hall. J 
Jen thanks you for helping her out. She is work in the morning and no one else is in any fit state to drive. You can handle it though. You know the road like the back of her hand, don't you? No. What? Oh, maybe I have to go outside again. You open the front door and walk out into the freezing night. The cold hair hits you. You are glad that you have your jacket with you. There is a dusting of snow around you as you step down from the porch. The yard extends around the back of the house, and the car sits in the front of the house. You fumble with the car handle confused until Jen tells you maybe to use the key in your hand. Fumble with the car keys, you eventually get the door open and climb inside. The car is freezing as you fumble around with your seatbelt. Your sister opens up the car glove box and hands you a note and a key that was inside. She tells you that it's for when you need to return. The note is from your dad and reads, Hi son, hope you enjoy your break. You'll need to fire up the generator around back to get power and lights on. Also, found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. Enjoy. Try to turn the ignition with the sheer willpower despite holding the key in your hand. It takes a number of attempts, but you eventually slot the key into the ignition. You turn the key in the ignition, and the car roars to life. The car squeals, but stays stationary. Jen suggests releasing the brake, giving you a wide-eyed stare. You very hesitantly release the handbrake. You put the car in gear and pull out the driveway like the first driver. You really should be driving. You, I, am driving very drunk on the road towards the town where your sister stays. Jen started dozing off as soon as the journey got going. It shouldn't take long. You come to a junction. Is it left or right? You can't remember. Left? Sorry, I don't understand. Right. Go left. <coughs> you don't want to, but you better. Yeah, better ask Jen for directions. Wake chat. Ask Jen for directions. She grunts and throws her arm to the left. It's left. Of course, it's left. You turn the car left at the junction and accelerate off. Confident that you're on the right road now, you loosen up and put your foot down on the accelerator. You feel powerful as the engine roars at your command. Jen sits up from a chair and clutches your arm. She asks you to slow down. That's not really what happened though, is it? You're all over the place, James. Pull over. Jen is hitting your arm and yelling at you, crazy sister. Strange. There's a set of headlights coming directly at you, but it's really slow. Like slow motion. Okay. Try to react, but your body isn't responding. There's nothing you can do to stop this. There's no way to control it. The lights merge with your car. The outside joins James, the inside. For fuck's sake, pull over! The one around you begins to scream. James! It was at this very moment, wasn't it, James? The moment you lost it all. Your sister. Your parents. Yourself. And then you made it worse. Go on. Show us what you did. Wake up in the car, your world is upside down, your seatbelt struggles against gravity, 
torn holes you in your seat. The impact is on another car's torn hole and the case is poisonous. Fumes spill into your car from your engine. So you're in grave danger. You have to get out of here. Can't move. Your seatbelt is still in place. yourself from your seat. Gravity takes over as you slump on the roof of the car. <coughs> Squeeze through the wreckage and fall to your knees. Oh shit. Every breath brings pain to your chest. Your head is throbbing. The blue car has smashed into the passenger side of your car. Your life cannot be ruined by this. You are standing hol holding your whiskey in your dad's note and flashing lights are approaching at a distance. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Fucking Oh, that's it. Put whiskey in blue car. Lights approaching closer, you begin to hear a shrill, a shrill of sirens. <coughs> you simply cannot go to jail for this. You clean the bottle to remove your connection with the whiskey. You then very deliberately spill the remainder of the bottle of contents onto the driver, and you toss the incriminating evidence onto the, his passenger seat. Several flashing lights surround you, illuminating the crash. It's light and darkness. <laughs> Damn it. And then an army of people are all staring. One figure steps out a silhouette and walks towards you. You're evil. As you approach the man pulse city lights around you get dimmer and dimmer while the pain in you head increases. You're on the ground. I know well. you're tearing yourself apart over it, but no matter what you keep telling yourself, you have to <coughs> listen to me. That accident. <coughs> Damn it. That poor man. Me. You have to remember. It was all your fault. I know what you did. How you left me there to protect yourself. Planting evidence on some poor man. You went headfirst into that officer and you wrecked all <coughs> of our lives. And you couldn't even take responsibility. You did the right thing for you and no one else. Save yourself. Only it was wrong, wasn't it? Look at me now. Utterly consumed by it. Say it, James. Say it. Tell them. I don't think she did. They didn't mention that she died before Listen surgery. To It has to end, James. Do you not understand?
episode you're having must come to an end. Make it stop, make it stop. Sometimes they make you watch your past sessions to see what really happened. Stop the session, Mr. Asian. <coughs> well, I think we've made progress today, Mr. Asian. I guess we should tell the police what you've told us. Although I don't suspect it'll take you anywhere. I think you'll be with us for quite some time. Come on, let's get you back to your shows. I'll see you tomorrow. Mission, finish episode four. That's it. There was only four episodes. That's it. Nothing I want to, no one I want to raid. So, book run. Last words go. Have a nice night. All right, see you, Nubian.
Like, comment, subscribe, and follow Bright for more horror gaming. Give her money if you can to support her. God, fuck. For the first time ever, it did it. Fucking go underwater. <laughs> the first time ever. Yeah, anyways. Danger Noodles. I hope you enjoyed. And hope to see you guys next time for your next mission. And, um,. Hmm. Pussy ass drink fest. <laughs>